Hey there everyone, welcome back to a brand new episode of Let's Play Undertale. So, last time we were, you know, dealing with Undyne and the puzzle and all that other stuff, but we're gonna move on. If I remember correctly, I think she shows up here. Yep. 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 Oh god. Yikes. easier this time. Easier to tell trajectories, because I can just, uh, hey. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Chill. Chill. You can't do this to me. I'm the goddamn hero. Not today. Sorry, fam. No. Dodge. Oh, it's a dead end. Oh, yeah. What the fuck? What the fuck? Dodging. Mechanics. Oh, oh sweet Jesus. Not today. Stop that. Stop that. Okay, so we generally follow the path. Please, you. You'll get it. To the exit. I think. Whoa. Hey. Chill. Out. Undying. My dude. My god. Oh god. Oh, I dodged all of them. No more. Stop, please. Please, I beg. Come down. Oh God. Oh God, no. Not like this. Please, I beg. Are you done? Oh. Ball sacks. Testicles. Titty sprinkles. No, I fell again. It sounds like it came from over here. Oh, you've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. Tomb, huh? That's a nice name. My name is... Huh? Okay, on a golden bed of flowers yet again. Ew. Ew. Piles of garbage. There are quite a few brands you recognize. Like Apple's new Apple stand for their computer. Just garbage. Garbage. A trash heap. Your persistent garbage habit shows no sign of paying off. Crash. Piles of garbage. There are quite a few brands you recognize, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of those has definitely got to be Apple's new monitor and their monitor stand. <laughs> the waterfall here seems to flow from the ceiling of the cavern. Occasionally, a piece of trash will flow through. And fall into the bottomless abyss below. Feeling this endless cycle of worthless garbage, it fills you with determination. Can I go down there? No? Okay. Um, can I walk up here? That makes a sound? Oh. Piles of garbage. Okay, same thing. Moving right along. Piles of garbage. You rest your hand on the rusted bike. Its horn wheezes a honk of despair. That's a honk of despair? Interesting. A beat up desktop computer. The inside is empty. Ugh. Rest in pieces. Computer. Of yesteryear. It's a cooler. It has no brand and shows no signs of wear. Inside are a couple of freeze dried space food bars. Take one? Yes. Got the astronaut food. Take a space food bar from the cooler? Got more astronaut food. Cooler is empty. It's a DVD case for an anime. <gasps> what anime? Desperate claw marks cover the edges. Somebody must have wanted that. It's just garbage. Seems like a regular training dummy. Do you want to beat it up? No. You stare into each other's eyes for a moment. You've had enough of this dummy. Okay. Bye bye dummy. Ha <gasps> <laughs> 
<laughs> Too intimidated to fight me, huh? I am the ghost. Wait, I am a ghost that lives inside of a dummy. My cousin used to live inside of a dummy too. Until you came along. When you talked to them, they thought they were in for a nice chat. But the things you said, horrible, shocking, unbelievable. It spooked them right out of their dummy. Human, I'll scare your soul out of your body. I love this song so much. I'm sorry. The Mad Dummy is a great mix. And uh, Retro Spectre, I think is what his name was, made a really good electro swing version of the song. It's so much fun to just dance that. The mad dummy blocks the way. Let's talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. No one is happy with this. Feeble, feeble, feeble! Wait, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do that in Japanese. Muda, muda, muda! Oh god. Yeah, you, you hit yourself. Buddy. Ow, you dummies! Watch where you're aiming your magic attacks. Hey, you! Forget I said anything about magic. Mad dummy is looking nervous. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. No one is happy with this. I'll defeat you and take your soul. Ow. Yeah, throw that up there. Throw that up there. What the hell? Mad Dummy glares into a mirror, then turns to you with the same expression. Mad Dummy, attack 30. Defense? Yes. Because there are ghosts, physical attacks will fail. I'll use your soul to cross the barrier. Nope. You aim that way. Aim this way, punks. There you go. Mad Dummy is bossing around its bolts. I'll stand in the window of a fancy store. I'm gonna need to take an ice cream. Are those claws natural? Your HP will maxed out. Then everything I want will be mine! Da -da 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 -da. Oh, there you go. I hit the tip. Mad Dummy's getting caught in all of the dialogue box. Huh? Yeah, I guess that'll avenge my cousin. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mad Dummy's getting caught in all over the dialogue box yet again. What was her name again? How do you forget your own cousin's name? Okay. Okay. Whatever. Whatever! WHATEVER! Hmm. That all missed. Alright. Let's see. Pitiful, pitiful, pitiful! Oh god, why was that so loud? <gasps> hey guys! Dummies, dummies, dummies! Remember how I said not to shoot at me? Well, failure! You're fired! You're all being replaced! <laughs> now you'll see my troop. Relying on people that aren't garbage. Mechanical words fill the room. Dummy bots, magic missile. Ooh. Ooh. Gotcha. That dummy is doing an armless ska dance. Dummy bots, try again. Ow, 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 ow. Oof. Glares into a mirror. Dummy bots, you're awful. All around, all around, all around, all around. Get him. Gotcha. Mad dummy, mad dummy, mad dummy is hopping mad. Dummy bots, final attack. Dodge, dodge. Whoa, I can't dodge all that. Oh, sweet Jesus. Okay. No way. These guys are even worse than the other guys. Who cares? 
cares? Who cares? Who cares? I don't need friends. I've got knives. You missed. I'm out of knives. But it doesn't matter. You can't hurt me and I can't hurt you. You'll be stuck fighting me. Forever. 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 <laughs> what, what the heck is this? Ugh, acid rain. Oh, forget it. I'm out of here. Muda, 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 muda. Oh, it's Blukey. Maps to Bluke. Sorry, I interrupted you, didn't I? As soon as I came over, your friend immediately left. Oh no. You guys look like you were having fun. Oh no. I just wanted to say hi. Oh no. Well, I'm going to head home now. Oh, no. Um, I feel like I've gone off if you want. But no pressure. I understand if you're busy. That's fine. No worries. Just thought I'd offer. Come back here, Bluke. Hey, my house is up here. In case you wanted to see her. In case you don't. You feel a calming tranquility. You're filled with determination. Ah, we're in the quiet area. Is this Baluk's house? Doon, doon, doon. Do, doon. Oh, you really came. Sorry, I wasn't expecting that. It's not much, but make yourself out. Oh, are you hungry? I'll get you something to eat. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. This is a ghost sandwich. Do you want to try it? Sure. You attempt to bite into the ghost sandwich. You phase right through it. Oh, God. Oh, never mind. After a great meal, I like to lie on the ground in a field of garbage. Mood. It's a family tradition. Do you want to join me? You know, man, doesn't it ever feel like everything in the universe just doesn't matter? Like there's no greater cosmic plan for any of us that we're just aimlessly adrift in a cosmic void. And there might be other life, but we don't even know if they'll ever reach us. And we're just some insignificant little dirt speck. Great cosmic sea. And that if we were to all suddenly vanish, then none of it would have ever mattered to begin with. We've never influenced the greater universal level of consciousness. We haven't conquered entire solar systems. We aren't progressing so fast that we can even save our own planet. It always makes me feel empty. And that there's nothing we can do about it. That one day that our own planet will be engulfed in a fiery bomb. And everything that ever was or will be on this planet will one day just be ashes. Vaporized and destroyed, with no evidence of it ever existing after that. It's almost 
positivity, in a sense. You don't have to worry about any mistakes that you've ever made staying there forever. Nothing is permanent. Everything is constantly shifting. Alright, Blukey. I'm gonna have to stop you there. We're gonna get up. Oh, Jesus. Well, that was nice. Thank you. Dun, dun, dun. The computer's internet browser is open to a music sharing forum. Oh, still talks to the computer. Okay. It's a spider web. There's a flyer for a bake sale on it. Oh, cool. The CD is labored. The CD is labeled Gula Day Music. Play it. You play a CD. Hey. It's a spooky version of Jingle Bells. Oh my god. Dun, 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 dun. Spook Wave. I need to hear Spook Wave. Come on. Let's see. Spook Tunes. Okay. It's the same song, just a synth version of it. Alright, Spook Wave. Oh, I gotta see if I can find a, a banger version of this song. I gotta find it. Somewhere in the universe, there's gotta be a banger version of that song. Ooh. Oh, it must have been Toriel. I've been long overdue for a second house. Okay. This snail is counting dollar bills. Snail, snail, a long journey extends in front of you. Now, snail, you reach far and stretch beyond the horizons. Snail, snail, so snaileth Sam Buyo. It's a snail. For some reason, you can't help but wonder what it tastes like. Yikes! Snail racing? Oh my god. Nope, I'm good. Thanks, fam. Bum, 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 bum. Alright, let's go this way. Whoa there. I've got some neat junk for sale. A crab apple. Looks like a crab. Heals 18 HP. Speed T helps. Ten Heals 10 HP, speeds up in battle. Let's see. Armor. 5 defense, minus 5 defense, invincible longer. Ooh, so you lose defense, but you stay, you have more invincibility frames. Okay, lose 2 weapon attack, but gain more invincibility. Ha, <laughs> I'm trying to get rid of my junk, not more of it. No, I've heard if you want to sell stuff, the Temi village is your best bet. Where is it? I don't remember. Let's talk to this guy. Anything you want to know? Hmm. I've been around a long time. Maybe too long. Sudden history sure is easy when you've lived through much of it yourself. <laughs> eh? You don't know about what that is? What are they teaching these kids in school nowadays? <laughs> that is the Delta Room, the emblem of our kingdom. The kingdom of monsters. <laughs> Great name, huh? It's as I always say. Old King Fluffy Buns can't name for beans. Ooh, the emblem's meaning. The emblem actually predates written history. It originally, the original meaning has been lost to time. All we know is that the triangle symbolizes us monsters below, and the winged circle above us symbolizes something else. Most people say it's the angel from the prophecy. What prophecy? Oh, Jesus. Oh yeah, the prophecy. Legend has it an angel who has seen the surface 
No, wait, let me try that again. Let's try that again. Legend has it, an angel who has seen the surface will descend from above and bring us freedom. Lately, the people have been talking about a bleaker outlook. Calling that winged circle the angel of death. A harbinger of destruction waiting to free us from this mortal realm. In my opinion, when I see that little circle, I just think it looks neat. <laughs> King Fluffy Buns. He's a friendly, happy-go-lucky kind of guy. Keep walking around long enough, you'll probably meet him. He loves to walk around and talk to people. Eh? What do I call Dreamer Fluffy Buns? Oh, that's a great story. I don't remember it. But if you come back much later, I'm sure I'll have remembered it by then. Undyne? Yeah, she's a local hero around here. Through grit and determination alone, she fought her way to the top of the Royal Guard. Actually, she just came through here asking about someone who looked just like you. I'd watch your back, kid. And buy some items. It might just save your hide. <laughs> Alright, be careful out there, kid. Thanks, old dude. I know one of these has secret behind them. I just don't remember what waterfall it is. Or maybe it was that waterfall I did earlier. Maybe that's the only one. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. So toggle the mushrooms. We light a trail. Mwah. Special enemy Temmie appears here to defeat you! Mmm, feed Temmie Flakes? Temmie only wants the Temmie Flakes. No, oh, so hungry? Eh. Whoa, 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 what the... What are you doing, Temmie? Temmie! Temmie vibrates intensely. Mmm. Temmie only wants the Temmie Flakes. No, so hungry! Temmie, 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 Temmie! Please. Vibrates intensely. Personally. I'm all about cute. That's you. Um, 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 um. Can you not? Timmy is trying to glomp you. I'm good. Thanks, Timmy. Bye, Timmy. Um, okay, so I light up that path to get to that mushroom, I guess. It's called a mold pig. Gyrates reverse it. Guys, <laughs> everything. Oh my lord. Mold big. Uh. Can we hug it? We hug mold big. Throw slime covers you. Your speed decreased. Roar. Oh Jesus Christ. You're not kidding. My speed really did decrease. Hey. Mold big gyrates reserve. Uh. You don't hug mold big. It appreciates your respect for its boundaries. Castle wig. Chased wiggle. Jesus, castle wiggle. Chased wiggle. Wom, 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 wom. Seems comfortable with your presence. Goodbye, mold big. What? Without candles or magic to guide them home, the monsters use crystals to navigate.
Is there a place I can save around here? Why oh, is it getting darker? I don't appreciate this. Behind you. <gasps> Wait a second. So you set that message up ahead of me so you could say that. Seven. Seven human souls. With the powers of seven human souls, our king, King Asgore Dreamer, will become a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. He will finally take the surface back from humanity and give them back to the suf- Wait, bleh. And give them back the suffering and pain that we have endured. Understand, human? This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul, or I'll tear it from your body. Don't run me through. Don't run me through. Undyne, I'll help you fight. Monster kid, Jesus Christ. Yo! You did it! Undyne is right in front of you! You've got front row seats to fight. <coughs> Excuse me. Wait. Who is she fighting? Hey! You aren't gonna tell my parents about this, are you? Okay. Where do I bail at? How do I, how do I leave? Aha! Uh -huh. There's a secret trail that I could not see before. Yo! Yo, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but I want to ask you something. Man, I've never had to ask anyone this before. Um, yo, you're human, right? <laughs> Man, I knew it! Well, I know it now, I mean. Undyne told me, um, stay away from that human. So like, um, I guess that makes us enemies or something? But I kind of stink at that. <laughs> yo, say something mean so I can hate you. Please? No. Yo, what? So I have to do it? It goes nothing. Yo, I, I hate your guts. Man, I, I'm such a turd. I'm, I'm gonna go home now. No! Yo, wait, wait, help, I tripped! Yo, d dude, it, if you want to hurt my friend, you're going to have to get through me. Well, that's good. She's gone. Yo, you really saved my skin. <clears throat> Guess being enemies was just a nice thought. <laughs> we'll just have to be friends instead. Man, I should really go home. Bet my parents are worried sick about me. Try not to trip this time, kid. Later, dude. Alright, so we saved Monster Kid. And we got to see Undyne. Almost kill us. Twice. Hmm. Oh, Jesus. Seven. Seven human souls, and King Asgore will become a god. Six. That's how many we have collected thus far. Understand? Through your seventh and final soul, this world would be transformed. First, however, as is customary for those who make it this far, I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. It all started long ago. No. You know what? Screw it! Why should I tell that story when you're about to die? Yeah! Anime pose. You! You're standing in the way of everyone's hopes and dreams! Alphys' history books made me think that humans are cool. 
with their giant robots and flowery swordsmen. Oh, that's that's actually legit though. But you? You're just a coward! Hiding behind that kid so you can run away from me again? And let's not forget your wimpy goody tutu stick. Ooh, I'm making such a difference by hugging random strangers. You know what would be more valuable to everyone? If you were dead. That's right. He your continued existence is a crime. I should have said human there, but I'm stupid. Your life is all that stands between us and our freedom. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts pounding together. Everyone's been waiting their whole lives for this moment. But you're not nervous at all. I read. Everyone, when everyone puts their hearts together, they can't lose. Now, human, let's end this right here, right now. I'll show you how determined monsters can be. Step forward when you're ready. <laughs> the wind is howling. You're filled with determination. The Undying Reef. But this is where we'll have to leave this episode off, everyone. I hope you all had a great time catching up with Undertale. But next time, we'll take on Undying and not actually do anything to her because I refuse to hurt anyone. I'm a precious bean. Other than that, guys, I hope to all catch you. I hope to catch you all here next time on Let's Play Undertale. If you liked today's episode, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you aren't already subscribed and join the Curly Crew. Hit that notification bell. That way you already know when I drop a brand new episode. Other than that, guys, I will catch you all here next time. I hope you all have a great and wonderful day.